Hello friends, DCY Stesler here and bringing you episode 9 of the EMC Generator series. Today we will be covering the Mushroom Mushroom Farm. The Mushroom Mushroom. The Mushroom Mushroom Farm. Um, it is a very effective EMC generator. Uh, we haven't actually done anything on the EMC generator series in some time. Uh, but, you know, it's nice to, re it's nice to come back to things. Uh, I haven't done any videos in a few days because it's been my, my, my birthday. Oh, it's been my birthday. And, uh, I've been sung so hungover that at some point I literally thought my face was going to slide off and just slap onto the floor. I was that hungover. So... Moving swiftly on to a more uh, appetizing discussion, the Mushroom Farm. Let's get started. So, as you can see, I have done a little bit of it. Now you think, well, what's the point of the tutorial if we've already done it? Derp, derp. But I'm going to be adding on more of these on, so you'll see how I build it. But that is a general concept. If you just wanted one uh, part, I guess you could say, then that's what it looks like. Um, but I will be building them right now so uh so the only thing that limits the emc generator from this is how many of these you have now obviously you could have six if you're really clever um i don't even know if that could i, I know you could do five because you can have one two three four and then one below if you're really clever you might be able to get one on top but i don't think you can but um correct me if i'm wrong but uh, I'm going to be doing a four system here because that's fairly simple and it's going to be fairly compact, really. I've seen some people have these that come like right out in all sorts of directions. Um, the main reason why I'm doing this, the, the reason why I haven't done it so far is because there's a lot of people out there that know how to do this. So I haven't really felt like I needed to do it. But I got a message from a viewer the other day asking me to do it. So, viewer, this is it. Um... So I'm just going to get cracking with this. Uh, so, I think the actual best way to do this is to let this cow just piss off. Go on, get out of here. Go on! Right. Now that he's out of the way, I can use my awesome creative powers to spawn stuff. Ha 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 ha! Right, so we're going to go deploy there. And we're going to go deploy uh, there. I mean, we want to deploy there, but that's going to be annoying to do. Okay, I'm going to have to move that around with a screwdriver. Okay, so we can get rid of that now. Let's get our screwdriver up. Screw. Oh, that's not how you spell screwdriver. Screw. Driver. Screwdriver. And let's get rid of that. Cool. Turn around, please. Thank you. Okay, so now that we've done that, we need to get ourselves a little bit of piping a little bit of pooping so we go around and we just chuck one bit of redstone piping a lot of people seem to be really confused as to what redstone piping is it's just pneumatic tubing with redstone on it <laughs> and that's it like so stop getting so confused they're like what what is this piping you're using um that's it that's literally it just put pneumatic tubing in a crafting table with some redstone on top of it and that's it um wow you are really annoying um so, let's get some filters on the Blair, shall we? So, we want filters like this, facing upwards. If you don't have a fly ring or if you're not on creative, then use a screwdriver. And then we need our energy condensers, which are in my invent. It's the only annoying thing about using creative. Um, I'll explain how this works at the end, but right now I'm just going to explain what it is I'm doing. So, on each of these filters, you want to throw your energy condenser, like so. As you can see, it's pretty compact, really, for a four-piece one. Um, then, oh, I've moved the piping out of my invent. It's just decided to full-on disappear. Cool. Cool. Really good. Really useful for this video. Um, let's get some more. Kablammy. Kablammy, kablammy, kablammy. Okay, so one there, one there, one there. Like so. And then we want to go break, break, break. And we want to get filters. And we want to go filter facing downwards. So the pipe goes up. Like so. So that's it. 
So as you can see, we've just basically replaced the wood enclosure where the cow was with machinery. Um, we'll get another cow in a moment. We can cover that bridge when we get to it. Um, <clears throat> okay. I haven't got my pop gun on, by the way, so I don't know how much I'm popping right now. Might be popping all over the place. But, uh, but never mind. Okay, so our collection point is going to be at the top because that's what I want to do. <laughs> Um, so, we're going to have our collection point be here. No, that's, uh, that's not an energy collector. That's an energy condenser. Like so. Now, like, what I suggest people to do is to have this underneath the floor. Because if you had this all underground and this was your floor, like so. You know, you're, you're, this is literally just a chest that you collect stuff from. And there's just all the machinery is like underneath. You just like come along. It's just like, oh, look at my diamonds. Woo! And no one even knows where it's coming from. It's like a James Bond base. Um, right. Let's take this opportunity to get our cow on over there. Okay. So I'm using a mushroom spawner. Um, for those of you who are just like, yeah, but I'm on. I'm not on creative. Um, all you do is you make a cow. Uh, however you want to do that. You can lure a cow over with wheat or whatever. Get a load of re uh, like uh, resources, like EMC, like coal, in your inventory. Get a Philosopher's Stone and just press R, and you see it lobs this ball. If I had resources in my inventory, you'd see it. And it just basically transforms the animal into whatever other animal you want. You could do it to a chicken or whatever if you want. It just, just keeps changing animals until you get the one you want. So it doesn't even need to be a cow. So that's how you would get a, mo a moosh room uh, here. I wish you would go away, I really do. Right, so, let's get this thing <clears throat> on its way. So, in this filter, you need to have mushroom stew, uh, like so. And again, I'll explain why at the end of the video. I'll explain how exactly it works. So, mushroom stew in all of those. <clears throat> and then in this, you want to have a bowl like that. Just, a, just your average bowl. As you can see, I've already done it for this one because this is what I started with. Like so. Then you want to go into each of the EMC condensers, energy condensers, sorry, and put a bowl in the top left. Like so. Oh, it's very important that you make sure there's only one there um, because if you see my other videos, if you have more than one there, it gets really weird. Because this is essentially like how all most EMC generators work. When it can't fill this chest, it'll go to your collection point, which is up there. And if there's more than one in this corner, it really messes up like the slot availability. It's just really weird. So you want to avoid that. Um, okay, so that is basically your absolutes. Like that is what you need to make this work. Everything I do from this point on is personal preference obviously this is obviously personal preference you could have these collectors just like come off the side and come down here or whatever you want i mean you're not stupid you know what what essentially i've done there but now i'm going to be just powering it with redstone now i'm not going to try and make this really compact or anything i'm just going to power it um if you want to go away and try and find the best possible way to to get this all powered up then by all means go for it but I tend to have these uh, hidden under the ground, and so this is all wasted space anyway. Like all this area down here is just wasted space. So it literally makes no difference to me where I have my redstone, as long as it's like down this end. So yeah, do whatever you feel is best. But I mean, I think this is pretty compact in all honesty. Um, where's my timer gone? This is the only annoying thing about being creative. There we go. Wow, 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 wow. Right, so we will get whatever. That's two seconds is fine for now. So as you can see, that's powering the filter that comes out of the chest and it's powering the deployer. So the only thing that's left to be powered is this piping up here, but this is all connected. So we don't need to mess around with this stuff, this stuff as much. You can just go like, oh, you can just go like this. Oh, oh. Boom, 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 boom. And that powers all of those. Like so. Um, cool. Right, so now all we need is just some EMC to get it started. So let's...
spawn us something to use as EMC, like glowstone. You'll do. Give me all of your glowstone. So now all you need to do, and now all I'm doing is like kickstarting the process. So I'm just gonna go like that. Put one in there. Uh, one in there. And one in there. Cool. Now I need to speed up these timers because they ain't fast enough. So I'm gonna go. 75 milliseconds. Oh, I need to speed you up. Okay, so that is literally it. So, right, what is happening is... Okay, so start with the energy condenser. Balls. Okay, it takes empty balls out through this filter, puts it into this deployer. Once it reaches this deployer and receives power from this, from this redstone here, it activates the bowl on the mushroom using the deployer. Okay, when it does that, it makes a full mushroom stew item, which is EMC value of 70. Remember that, EMC 6, EMC 70. Once it's got the stew, this filter is being programmed to remove mushroom stew. So it takes the mushroom stew from the deployer, moves it back into this chest, and makes an excess of, you guessed it, a 64 EMC. Um, that extra 64 is quite a lot, really. Um, it's considered one of the best EMC generators. Not the best. The best is still the Blaze Rod Generator. And anybody who argues with you is wrong. No, it's a matter of opinion, but the Blaze Rod Generator, in my opinion, is the best. But this thing is pretty good. Um, so, it then uses that 64 extra EMC to make more balls. So once you've got this thing doing it once, it then just leave it. When this chest reaches full, much like a dark room, it will then send the excess up. That's why I put it like this, because it prioritizes this chest here because it's the first available slot. And if it can't fill here, then it moves up. So that's why this setup is really good. So as you can see, this is full and it won't. And then when this empties, it will then start doing it. But like, as you can see, it's not, it's going up now. So when these are all full, which we can make happen quite quickly by just going blub, 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 like so. And we will do the same to this one, because I want to show you the sort of speed that you're looking at. Ooh, up. That's it. So now we're looking at the kind of speed that you would be looking at. Uh, some are going to come down like this. Some are going to go like that. This is perfect because like if one is if one isn't full, it will send a lot down here to try and fill it. Um, this is obviously full now, so that's why that's being a pain in the ass. So if we go, uh, so now we find our item of choice. If we go, oh, no, that's not used for diamond. Diamond. We got ourselves a nice little diamond. You can check that in there. Like so. Okay, so if one of these isn't full, it will actually, like, when it reaches this point, it will send some down to fill it. So if one is being slower than the others, it will, like, combine their efforts to fill that one really, really quickly. So that's why this setup is really good. So basically, it's when it can't send it into the chest, it's sending the excess up, just like a dark room does, and it goes into this chest. And each one is giving you EMC of 70, uh, which is quite a lot. And as you can see, it makes a diamond a pretty quickly. Uh, it is definitely better than a dark room, in my opinion. It's only if you've got a setup of four. If you've only got a setup of one, then I would say it probably isn't. But a setup of uh, four, it definitely is better than a dark room. You're looking at a diamond every like 14, maybe 15 seconds. Yeah, like 15 seconds ish. And this is all hidden, remember? This is your ground floor, so this is all underground. Now, obviously, you could probably make this redstone a little bit tighter, but to be honest, it's not really worth it. You'll maybe save a couple of blocks. Um, yeah. The thing is with this is there's so many different combinations. I'm sure I'm going to have a billion people in the comments below saying, oh, you know, I've made a more compact version. I've done this. I've done that. The thing is with these machines is it's all about your personal preference. If this is your base of your house, and this is just empty space underneath, then you're not really going to care. 
like what the situation is down there. So people that need the space will make it more compact. And people who won't, won't. So if you want to go away and play with this design, then by all means, go for it. Um, but those of you who just want a simple design, this is this is a good one for you to do. Um, so that's about it. That's the Mushroom EMC generator. The reason why there haven't been many videos lately is because, like I said, it has been my birthday the last couple of days and I've been tremendously hungover. Um, but there will be more videos coming out soon. Uh, those of you who go, congratulations to the winners of the Dota 2 giveaway. There's been two beta key giveaways, um, possibly even a third coming in from a friend of mine, another member of DCY, and two chess key giveaways. Uh, I still haven't received some of the PM, uh, some of the Steam details from you guys, so make sure you message me. Coming up, uh, myself and a couple of members of DCY might be doing Feed the Beast. Um, so. Yeah, so look for, uh, yeah, check that out. It could be coming out probably the end of the week, uh, something like that. Um, yeah, so make sure you check out more videos. Uh, sorry about the gap. More videos will be coming out now. I've been DCY Stairs, you've been amazing, and I will see you next time. Farewell.